could be here. Um, I don't know what to talk about in this intro. I'm just fucking tired, man. We gotta like. I don't even know where how to end that sentence. I don't even know where I was going. <laughs> you know what we gotta do? Not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> we can't. Like this can't go on. Every episode can't be like, uh, uh, we're dying. It's I mean it. Yeah, but also we're both fucking hitting the gym like every other day. You have a child. I'm not doing much, but you know, I, the gym is a thing technically. True. I don't have an excuse. I don't have a, two children running around and shitting everywhere. Oh man, yo. So let me tell you. I know what we're talking about in the intro. Yeah. So Adrian was like, "What does that smell?" I was like, "I don't know." I'm I'm like looking at him. I'm like, he didn't shit or anything. Mm-hmm. So I thought. Um, that was my <laughs> first mistake. And I'm like, "All right, I'll get him situated. Get them situated. Go record on time." That was my first mistake, thinking I was going to be on time for this. Mm-hmm. I always think I'm going to be on time. Um, and then like his bed. Like the sheet or the blanket on top was like wet. But I'm like, what is this? And I look at it, and then you know how you get up close. And I'm just like, go. Oh. I'm like, it's just oily shit. He just shit. It came out the side of his diaper. Jesus Christ. So, needless to say, he got another bath. And <laughs> <laughs> had to change his sheets and all that stuff. And Burn the others in the backyard. Yeah. To, to get rid of the demons that were released from this baby. Yeah, threw it in fire and ghosts flew out of the smoke. It's like shrieking. <laughs> yeah, coming out. You Anything unleash better. this evil upon this flaming trash can. <laughs> I'm free. I can wreak my havoc on the world now. I'm looking at him at that point. Like, what the fuck did you eat? Like demons, Gerber. <laughs> of course, it's the ghost of the Gerber baby. <laughs> ghost of the Gerber baby is the podcast title. Yeah, I don't care what else we talk about. That's the yeah, title. nothing else matters. <laughs> That's fucking it. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh man, yeah, that was crazy. Other than that, though, same old, same old. I feel that entirely. Um, <laughs> one thing that's new and interesting with me, but it's technically the channel. Currently, I found a thing online. Um, it's like a service for making clips and shit on Twitch and YouTube. So they take your stream automatically when you link your account. And then AI combs through it mm-hmm. and makes clips for you. When I watched that, I was like, man, that's useful. I was also that way, but I was just like, this isn't real. That's not real. How could that be real? It yeah. doesn't make sense. But uh, it was. I signed up for it for the free version, and then it wasn't working. And I contacted them through Discord. Nicest, like, tech help people. They're like, well, did you do this, this, this? I'm like, yep, cool, awesome. She's like, okay, we're going to get our technicians to make the AI run it through again and see what happens. Mm. Did that fucking instantly 40 clips from the Fortnite <laughs> test stream that I did. And I'm like, what? Just instant. Nope. So those are that now a thing that I can do. And it'll be a little bit easier to make clips because not every single time that we're playing games live, I can be like, make a clip. And then people won't do it because, you know, people got shit going on. We're on the background. We're the background noise sometimes. Listen, so. man, <clears throat> we're gonna can't wait to get to the point we're big enough to where somebody is like, we're gonna AI this show, and it's just AI doing this whole episode. Yeah, I, I would honestly that'd be kind of fun. We could do like a what's it, what's the thing called the Chat GPT. Mm-hmm. We could do like an AI generated episode where we're like, what <laughs> what do we talk about on this video game podcast? That'd be fun. Just let the AI tell us what to do. We should do it on Patreon. Like, do a Patreon podcast where do we like a tester test one. It. Yeah, yeah. They just tell us what to talk about. Hell yeah, that'd be kind of fun. Yeah, I think yeah. so. AI is cool, man. Except for the art ones. Yeah, that's I mean, I've freaky. dabbled in the AI art, but it's not good. Like, it's just kind of stealing, you know. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. <sighs> it, it's a thing. weird, like, thing. I don't know. The best thing AI has ever done is that Will Smith thing. On the Will Smith thing? Where he was eating macaroni or something. It was like those AI Will Smiths all eating. You ever seen that? I feel like no. he sent it to me. Oh, wait. Maybe I did. They're all eating I... like macaroni and cheese or some shit. It's gross as shit because all you hear but it's like I a think... Will Smith thing. <laughs> yeah, I think I remember that one, yeah. <laughs> I, it's weird because like especially being from the point of view as like an artist you know like I, I make stuff in that way sometimes like people are like this is just like stealing from those artists blah blah, blah. I'm like yes but also it's making something new from it mm-hmm. you know what I mean like I'm not trying to be that guy but I'm like what we do as artists is look at shit and either copy it or change it to be like in our own style so like we're pretty much doing the same thing the AI is doing right? already. So now that it's an artificial intelligence, it's a problem, even though, like, no offense to AI art, some of it's good, mm. but, like, a lot of it's not amazing, you know? Like, it's well, goofy offense. looking. the AI is going to come after you? Well, like, there, there's a lot of people in defense of it and shit, and also if the AI does want to come at me, that is where we are headed in the future that we are going towards Skynet. Mm-hmm. Um... But I don't know. It's a weird middle ground. I like the use of it for, like, inspiration. Like, if you were to go on, like, the chat GPT thing and it could provide images, be like, I'm trying to do this drawing with blah, 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 or I'm trying to make this logo that's in the style of this but also has this, and then it'll give you, like, this fucking spit-out piece of shit that you can now take and then use to make a refined piece of shit, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. It's weird. I know what you mean, though. Yeah. Like, cool. Then there's the whole, <laughs> the, the robots are going to take her jabs. That shit. <laughs> Trick her jabs. <laughs> um, which, I mean, if they do, then that just means there's more jobs. Like, because they take away the bad ones. Like, yeah, tedious nobody. editing. You know? Oh, man. Like, it I'm just telling, takes I'm, just, I'm just telling y'all now. Listeners and viewers, the moment I can just drop this podcast into an AI machine and it just yeah. perfectly mixes it. And then you just like do little fine little details here and there. Which I kind of like, already have, but yeah. if, it, if it even it does it even simpler. Oh, man. That's all it is. It's just tools. Like the product is always going to be different. The tools that you use to get there. I feel like it depends on like you know the morality of AI art when it comes to that, but like it's just the tool in your repertoire. It's just your reference mm-hmm. in my mind. If you just like say make go to AI art and type something up, be like, look what I made, and it's just you just post that, then fuck you, you know, like <laughs> obviously. But here we are. Um, here we are. Together. Yeah. Um. I think that's all, all I got. You ready to start this shit? Yeah, I think we got to start now. Hey. Before the robots come get us. True. AI art. Oh, wait. I can defend myself with the best character in all of all. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful boy right there. Look at him. He's got a little cape. Got a little, like, it looks like a, a Listerine breath strip. It does look like that. But yeah, he's got a little fucking a little jet. Fly. And then you can just, you know, rip his face off. Man, he's horrifying now. <laughs> it's just they a black make, void that you look into. Let him, they just let him scream when you get it. <laughs> I did think it was light up, and I'm like, kind of disappointed it's not, but it's all good. Not too good. Elden Ring runs. Before we start the show, Frankie, what? What? Elden Ring runs? Are you still talking about like the diaper I was talking about earlier? <laughs> Wait, we talking what I think we talking about, Ant? Because if so, I feel like I'm in the trenches of poop. The doo-doo trench. It was raining in the trenches, and then it looked like poop. Beautiful. All right, that, I'm going to put the fucking yeah. theme song on. Hey, goodbye. Oh, 
Elden Ring runs. He's playing Elden Ring. Yeah. I thought I Frankie like had the Elden Ring runs. <laughs> just oh, that also. <laughs> you know, having a child and then having the runs is pretty much an Elden Ring boss in theory. It's probably a little bit harder than Elden Ring too. I don't know. Mm. 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 It depends on who you are, I guess. True. They're not children aren't difficult. They're just children. I know that sounded like I said nothing, but they they're just little humans. It's just like, hey, do the thing. And then you go and do the thing. Unless they're seven years old and name is Trenton. It doesn't work that <laughs> Oh man. I'm curious to see how many files he's downloaded on your computer for Gmod when Man, I eventually come back. I I haven't looked. I just know there's more every time. And fuck it. Not fuck it, because if something fucks up, I'm going to fuck them up. But At a certain point, you will run out of memory. I will say that. I have a whole lot of it. So if he's going to, if he gets that much shit, that's nuts. Yeah. He'd have to fill like four terabytes. You do it with Gmod, depending on the what you're picking. But until then, level up, gamers. And welcome. To save before pudding. It was you this week? No, it wasn't. It was you. But you we were because I thought I don't know. Go ahead. Do it again. I have You already played the air horns. No, I didn't. Do it again, ready? Go. Will they hear that? They'll hear that, right? Okay, that's hey, perfect. Will. That's perfect. Um, <laughs> it was an accident. I didn't mean to do the sad one. Fuck. Oh, it was good. That was the greatest intro ever. We're both tired. It's save fine. letter we B for quitting. Save leave letter B for quitting. Save leave. Save letter B number four quitting on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube. Suck our teat. What? You That's a me? different acronym. Titty. Acronym. Acronym? Acronym. That's what I meant to say, but nism is what came out. I want the ghost of the Gerber baby man. It's haunting us. <laughs> if there was a fairy, but their name was spelled out in letters and periods, would they be an acronym? Not wrong. Here, like, it's here not. one sec. One sec. Um, let me go down. Um, I don't know. Ooh, you stink. Thank <laughs> you, Frankie. Oh, Thank brother, you. this guy <laughs> stinks. <laughs> Classic. That's a good um, save for quitting always spelled out dot com. Grab your merch from there. Save for quitting always spelled out at gmail dot com. You want to send us an email? Um, like. Like, I don't know, stuff and picture AI pictures and AI scripts and questions and requests. Send us questions, criticisms that are from AI. Mm-hmm. That and by AI, work. I mean Alan Iverson. Send us questions from Alan Iverson. Oh, yeah. Programmed in AI. AI, AI? And, yeah, send us AI, AI. That's a really good title too, but I know. No, nah, because it, it, you know what it is, but spe- like in the reading the title, you'd be like, "What?" It'll just be AI AI. Yeah, exactly. It's like still it's- Gerber Baby Ghost <laughs> or whatever the hell we said. Gerber Baby, Go- it, that's good. Well, it wasn't that though. Yeah, it will. It will figure it out. <laughs> I already forgot. You said it like not even five minutes ago. Yeah, I don't remember shit. 
Speaking of shit to remember, uh huh. Our Patreon. Patreon. We do two episodes a month. Join up on Patreon for some fun, it's... exclusive stuff. Apparently, we're going to try to do some AI shit next time. I don't know how to do that, but we will do it. Um, I'll figure it out. <laughs> which one call it has it now? Snapchat? I saw that. I tested it out, too. How'd it go? They, they answer you with whatever. Like, for instance, I was trying to redo my cover letter, right? <clears throat> mm-hmm. And I just happened to be looking for, like, I wonder if I can get AI to do my cover letter. So, you know, it's all the rage right now. So I'm looking up some AI shit. And then there's websites where you got to pay. And I'm like, I'm not paying. Yeah. I'll, I'll do it myself. I just want to know if I can get it done through AI. And yeah. then that morning, Snapchat was like, our new AI, what's it called? Like AI assistant or some shit. I have no idea. I saw it in like the little bitmoji they chose for it was creepy. It is. Like, it was like some green skin. It looked like a Dragon Ball Z character, but to... like in the my in like the animated Barbie m- movie universe instead. My AI. That's what it is. Yeah. Can you see this on the screen? I don't know if it'll. It is way it. too bright. That is just right there at the top. Uh, yeah, creepy. It looks like Blue Ellen. <laughs> it looks like Blue Ellen. Wait, I don't think ours are the same. Because mine's not Blue Ellen. Yeah, mine looks like a Dragon Ball Z character. I'm waiting oh, for yeah, it to focus. I'm going to just drop my brightness because that should work. It's too too dark now. Wrong camera. I'm not. Oh, I got to look at the. I'm going to show it to that. What the? Fuck? Oh, stop messaging me, Ryan. Oh, yours is different. Yeah. It's green skin with a yellow hair. Yeah, mine's blue skin with purple hair. That's crazy, yo. But any, oh, they got rid of the conversation. Kinda. I was like, <laughs> I just straight up. It was like, hi, I'm new AI. Welcome. You can ask me anything. I just straight up was like, can you make me a cover letter? Mm-hmm. And it was like, sure. Um, input your resume. And I really like. I I sent my resume as an image. Yeah. And then it was like, great. Um, what job are you applying for? And I gave him like a job title I was applying for currently. And mm-hmm. it literally gave me a breakdown of paragraphs and what to put in each paragraph. Not not literally, but what the paragraph should say about it relating to your skills mm-hmm. and broken down through three paragraphs. Through Snapchat. Yes. Through Snapchat. That's crazy. We're in the future, man. It has introduction, body paragraph one, body paragraph two, body paragraph three, conclusion. And Shit. it's like, does that sound like a good cover? Letter? I was like, yes. It's like anything else you need? I was like, no, because now I'm terrified. <laughs> now I'm terrified that you're gonna get me the job. You you do too much. It's it's freaky. It is pretty freaky. I will say that. It, I, I don't know. Um, Discord. We were introducing the show. Discord. Oh, yeah, we, uh, join our Discord. We have fun in there. We do fun shit. We talk about gaming and game news and pickups your weekly nerdy pickups put those in there maybe you'll get shouted out on friday when chris does figure friday i've got nothing um, better to do actually i'm playing star wars instead of that they got amazing reviews yeah <clears throat> looking forward to it there's a gun mode now you can have him have a gun gun mode yeah like he has his lightsabers but then he can pull out a oh yeah like a fucking like, like gun <laughs> Chow. What's that sound effect again? The chow. All right. It's like cut chow, but different. Word. With a P. Word. It sounds great. Um. <sighs> as always, Chris, I ask you the question. What did you play this week? I played a decent bit of games this week. That, yes. Um. One that gave me a lot of trouble, but I'll save that for the end. I don't know if I told the story of that game yet. Of uh, one by the name of Cod. Uh, I don't know if I got that out on the podcast yet or not, but uh, it's been giving me some issues. I, I, I talked about it on the, the Patreon. I, yeah. I did say something, but That's for all you about it. regular listeners, um, I'll save that for the end. Other than that, Overwatch 2. I play it every night. Because I have a problem. 
course. Um, I'm ranking up and down frequently, never moving anyone better than I am. So that kind of sucks. Mm-hmm. But, you know, that's just the, the actual thing. Um, Fortnite played a little bit yesterday on stream, actually, if you want to go catch that VOD. Um, and it was fun. It was a good time. Played for about an hour in trios and ended it on a victory. Worked out really well that we won that one. Mm-hmm. Um, I am liking that people are using the attack on Titan items a little bit less. I know you are. Those were the worst. Um, they're still being used, but it's more of like a mobility thing now. Like they're not using them as like the attacking thing as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's cool. Uh, uh, Final Fantasy VII. I'm playing a little bit more of that. I'm still down below. I just got the uh, the scene where I leave the bar, and then mm-hmm. I have to go murder those people in the area where I murdered rats before. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. So I'm not far by any means, um, but I'm liking it so far. Um, I completely like stopped playing Kingdom Hearts, so I'm gonna need to uninstall that before tomorrow <laughs> so that I have enough room for Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Um, what else playing? Shit. I think that might be it besides the last one which is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 a game that I said that I would never pay for you did and you didn't and guess what yeah exactly I still have it got it as a birthday gift um, from Pib Extra in the discord I very much appreciate it um, I appreciate the gift the stress though that it uh, brought my life that uh that was pain so i received this game for 480 on steam Mm -hmm. downloaded it april 19th on steam every single time i tried to open that game it would launch the ricochet anti-cheat software and it would load the full white bar at the bottom and then it would just stay there and it wouldn't open call of duty at all the actual game it would just have that little pop-up saying that the anti-cheat is running Mm -hmm. and that's it so i was like what the fuck so i would try to end the task and restart it but i couldn't i would hit the end task button and it would just stay there i hate when that happens that's annoying it's the fucking worst and then the even worst part is i would go into steam and it currently says playing now or whatever the fuck it is when you're playing a game I hit the stop button and it says stopping for like an hour plus. Mm -hmm. And I was so fucking frustrated because it kept doing this. I had to restart my computer so many times. Finally, I was trying to figure out like via Steam. I'm like, you know what? Maybe I can get a refund for John just because it's not working. And I don't want to like, you know, I didn't want to have something from someone like as a gift and then just never be able to use it. I'm like, please get a refund while you can. Um, that wasn't allowed to happen because apparently when I had the little pop-up window open, it counted as game time being played. That's some bullshit. Yeah. <clears throat> and I don't know the exact hour amount that it is. I think it's around like four to five, maybe less than that. But like if you play a game and you don't like it within that time frame, you can return it to Steam and you'll get a full refund. Yeah. If you don't like the game, that is. Don't be an asshole and beat a game and then fucking sell it back you bitch of course um you know who you are out there coming for you um the ai is uh but yeah (laughs) that was an issue that i was having and i finally emailed activision support i ran through every single thing that they said to do to try and fix it didn't work that was for multiple days until i think it was the 25th where I'm working from home and I'm still trying to get this to work. And then also on that day, I receive a new gaming laptop that I purchased. So I got that. I'm like, oh shit, maybe it's just my PC that's the issue. Mm -hmm. I'll download Call of Duty to this new out-of-the-box gaming PC. Little laptop boy. Great laptop so far as well. Fucking get it downloaded. Hit the play button. It finally launches the game. I see the fucking Activision logo. I see all the other logos. Mm-hmm. It gets to the end user license, end user license agreement. I go to scroll on it immediately. When I go to scroll, 
crashes and a crash bubble comes up telling me the exact <laughs> error code. I Google the error code for six hours straight trying to fix it on the laptop. Now, nothing. So I go to the gym in pure frustration. Of course. I let out my aggression, walking at a steady incline of six, going at a speed of 3.5. You know, no big deal. Just walking it and sweating out the aggression. Come home. And what I always do when I come home is I grab a protein shake from the fridge, take a hit or two of this, and then I take the hottest fucking shower whatever. Because if you have a cold protein shake while you're in the shower and it's burning hot, let me tell you, no better feeling. I've never drank anything in the shower. It's phenomenal. You should try it. You're not it's weirdly so good. good. I don't know why it's good, but it is. Um, but before I get in to do that, I come mm-hmm. over, I take my little, little hit here. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I click the play button again on my PC. Right. I go into the other room where I work at from home and I have the new laptop. I hit play again on there. I'm like, fuck it. We'll see what happens. Fuck and it. I'm zoned out super high now. Get into the fucking shower. I'm slightly stoned. I'm having this fucking delicious vanilla protein shake that tastes literally like a milkshake. It's phenomenal. And I, I took a regular protein shake, like in a bottle, put that in a, a, a shaker cup, put an extra scoop of my fruity fucking pebbles one in there with some oat milk. Mix that up. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, Dude, so fucking good. I hated how good it was. I'm like, I'm going to have to do this fucking every time now. Yeah. It's a process. But uh, I finally, I'm, I'm doing that. I get out of the shower. And I get dressed for a second. Other and fans I, in the chat of drinking something in the shower. Hell yeah. Also, shout out to Robbie. What's up, Robbie? What's up, Robbie? So I get dressed and I pull up my phone to make a Snapchat to send to my friend group. And I think I sent it to you as well. I could be wrong, but I think I did. So I go into the other room and I'm like, oh, look, Call of Duty's still not working on my laptop. No, you didn't send me this. You told me about this, though. I have to send it to you then because I saved it. And then I start walking down the hall to my room and I turn the camera around in my face just because I'm talking, you know, to the camera. And then as I get right to the door, yeah. I see on this screen right fucking here, the main menu of Call of Duty past mm-hmm. the end user license agreement entirely. And my, my face just goes, it's like, stark white. I just got done emailing Activision for the second time. Like, what the fuck's happening? Please, like, give you me a get, refund. You can get stark whiter than you are? It's hard, but it happens. That's talent. Yeah. That is talent. Normally around sir. the winter months, but sometimes <clears throat> it can come out during uh, the summer. You know, I don't really go out much, as you know. But, um. <laughs> <laughs> You're the fucking but, Dookie Gerber ghost. <laughs> or whatever it was called. <laughs> but either way, uh, it's working just casually. And then I'm like, you're fucking kidding me. Right. I literally, first of all, let's get this out of the, I'm good at Call of Duty because mm-hmm. I'm good at shooting games. On keyboard and mouse, I've never played Call of Duty before. I'm fucking nice with it because I'm only used to playing on sticks. And since I've been playing exclusively Overwatch on keyboard and mouse, coming to Call of Duty feels so fucking good. It's a whole new world to me. I'm like, fucking Aria. Oh, they should have cast me, dude. (laughs) Oh, sing. Um, Fucking, so I'm playing. The the UI in that game. Holy fuck is it shit. It is the worst UI I have ever seen in a video game. It is so difficult to find. I would probably put it up there. It's like top five, at least for me. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, you don't know where anything is. Like, it doesn't make sense where anything is. And then accidentally, so many times, you'll just go into the fucking battle pass menu when you don't mean to do that. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't want the fucking battle pass, man. But it keeps going back to the battle pass. You're going to take this battle pass and you're going to like it. That's what it felt like. And I was like, no, I'm sticking to my guns here. No pun mm-hmm. intended. Um, but yeah, I played it for a little bit. Played with John and uh, Lucia as well. We had a good ass fucking time. It was fun. We played a search and destroy. That felt good as shit. There's a new game mode. I think it's called like cyber attack or some shit or something like that. Mm-hmm. Terrible. Worst game mode I've ever fucking played. 
um mainly just because there was a guy using a rocket launcher and destroying Darn. cars right where we it was like a, a intersection like in last of us you know like the like the road that's packed with cars yeah it looks exactly like that and it's just a street filled with cars on a highway that's the map and this dude was just oh, taking the, the rocket up. launcher that goes up and comes down mm. and just would ex- annihilate six cars at the same time. If you were any remotely close to it, you lose immediately, which is fucking stupid. Bad map <laughs> design and the game is bad. Fuck you, Activision. But yeah, that took until the 25th. So from the 19th to the 25th, I was unable to play this game. But yeah, but now... But now it's fun. Um, I, I haven't gotten into hardcore yet, uh, CLD, just because I've only played hardcore on sticks, and I used to be good on it on sticks. I don't want to go back to sticks, but I want to get used to the regular first, and then I can move into hardcore, because hardcore is the better experience in my mind, if you haven't played it. Real quick, why do we call the controller sticks? Is it because of joysticks? Yeah. Well, open and shut case. Let's move on. Somebody clip that. <laughs> I don't even want to add this bit at the end. It's yeah. just like, why do we call them sticks? Yeah. And then that's the end of the video. Mm-hmm. Just immediately there. So, um, but yeah. Ow. <laughs> that's all I've been playing this week. Um, I wanted to get back into Chrono Trigger, but I just haven't touched my Steam Deck in a bit. Because, you know, I just got a laptop. I'm trying to set that up and shit. I'm going to see if I can uh, set that up to stream because when we're at RGB LAN in a couple of months, uh, I'm going to try to do that and stream from the, uh, the event. Mm-hmm. Also edit videos that we make for the one day that you come. So yep. yeah. it's going to be a time, a good one at that. I believe so. Oh yeah. That's uh, all I've played this week. What about you? Um, I downloaded a little indie game called Fightin' Rage. Um, by the title, I you can deduce that it is a brawler. Mm-hmm. Obviously, they're borrowing Rage as in Streets of Rage, you know. Um, but it's a very it's an it's a super anime as brawler, right? But it's okay. fun. It reminds me of. A more arcadey version of Streets of Rage 4. Okay. But it's a good time. Like I, I told you I was um trying to upload last week's abysmal podcast. Not that the podcast is bad. It's on but, YouTube now, guys. And yeah. It took till today. Yeah. So it's out of it's right in time for the next episode. Um trying to upload that shit. And when I said I was playing my Switch, I was playing that. Like, and it's an arcade brawler, like what was it called? It's called Fight and Rage. F I G H T apostrophe N Rage. Fight and Rage. Um, it, I'm playing that and it's like, all right, I'm, I need to waste some time while this slowly loads. So mm-hmm. stage one comes and I'm like, I'm learning how to play. And it's really, they, they know where they're getting their influences from because it's very like retro influence. So it's like, it has like the CRT kind of filter on it, but you could turn all that shit off. But yeah. it's CRT, a lot of like the um, like the music sounds like 16-bit gaming and all that stuff. It has the scroll yeah. text and everything. But it, it's super fun, super addictive. Um, mechanics are great. It's not just you can brawl like you, you're fighting people as normal, but you can like dash, juggle enemies in the air, create combos, all that shit. Um, it sounds fun as fuck. It is. Somebody should stream that. Somebody. <laughs> um, so I'm while, while I'm waiting for this thing to load, I'm like, all right, stage one. So I'm just playing, playing, playing. Next thing you know, I'm at stage like seven. Mm-hmm. So it's it's kind of close to the end of this game, I guess. And um, and I told you I was waiting for it to it got to like 80 something percent and just would like not budge. So I just mm-hmm. ended up going upstairs, laying on the couch. And then I'm just into this game. And that game gets hard near the end. But I mean, it's like infinite continues. So I'm just trying to like find the best strategies to beat shit. I'm making it's one of those games where it's just like you'll make your way all the way through a level, 
get a game over. You, you continue like, no, that's it. I'm not after this run. I'm not doing this again. <laughs> Seven runs later, I'm like, oh fuck, because you just want to get it done. Oh, yeah. It's addictive like gaming. Um, I got it on Switch because it went on sale. It was like, I don't know, it was under ten dollars. Not bad. And I was like, all right, well maybe it's also on sale on Steam Deck. I want to play it on there. It was not. So the Switch I went. <laughs> so um, I played it on. So like my Switch is. Getting, you know you're gonna buy it on Steam anyway when it goes on sale. I'm not, I, no, I'm not. I'm not buying it. Also on there. Um. But it's fun. That's all I really played. But yeah. into those kind of games, I recommend it. Dope. Good time. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, for what we played, I didn't really watch anything this week either. Like, um, trying to think if I like did anything interesting that I watched. I, I feel like I just chilled this week when it came to watching stuff. It was just like YouTube videos. Yeah, I kind of did too. I didn't watch yeah. anything. What's the next know. movie that's coming out? Fuck. Guardians. Oh, I did see a fucking movie. What? I saw a fucking... I saw Renfield. Oh, how was that? Dude, see this movie. It's so fucking good. It's so funny and fun and gross and visceral. <laughs> it's so fucking good. And then the best part about it, I didn't know this. I don't know if you know this, but this might mm. be an incentive to fully get there. The man, the myth, the legend, the blue hedgehog himself. Yes. Ben Schwartz is in it. Ben Schwartz is such an underrated actor. He fucking carried the movie, but mm. he didn't need to at all. Like, I just wanted him to be on screen more. Mm. It was so fucking. And then the best part was the very beginning, in my opinion. Just because I'm not going to spoil what happened or what it was in the beginning, but it was like explaining mm-hmm. how Renfield became Renfield. Nick Cage had such a huge fucking boner doing that shit. <laughs> you could fucking tell. Like, he just loved what the hell he was mm-hmm. doing. That's so, great. Go see that if you can't in theaters. Just see it as soon as possible. Please, I'm thank you. Ben Schwartz deserves, like, his own, like, well, he has Sonic, of course. I mean, live yeah. action. Because, like, I've been watching Ben Schwartz's stuff since he was just doing online content. Like, he was on, like, College Humor and shit. Back yeah. in, like, mid-2000s. And I remember it's seeing him then and being like, yo, whatever he's in, I'm going to watch. Like, whatever bits he's doing on whatever. And then immediately show. he became your favorite video game character. It was a marriage made in heaven. Just came together just like that. <laughs> Awesome. Well, I guess it's about that time for the n- 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 the news. The news. <laughs> the best part is, though, the live stream viewers couldn't hear that. <laughs> your audio that you have has what just happened in it i never think about that so we're gucci um that'll be great for uh video people who if you didn't watch this uh live go check that out. if you did watch it live now you gotta go see what this was all about what we're laughing about um but the news this week it's a little bit light i would say when it comes to like importance of certain stuff it's not There's like some stuff that's not insane in the news though like not in on the discord like yeah. i got some stuff that's not on here yeah but the first one here would you like to take it away because i could not read the teeny <laughs> tiny black and white script on the right hand side uh, i should have put that up by itself my bad it's all um, good playstation acquires firewalk studios firewalk studios for those who don't know um it is made up is a team made up of uh, where is that experience leaders a team that's made up of people who have launched properties such as who, which include Call of Duty Destiny Apex Legends Halo and others so clearly these people know what they're doing Um, it's pretty much people from those companies coming together to make their own and PlayStation took them honestly if uh-huh. I was a triple A if I was one of the big three 
and saw that they were up for grabs, I probably would take them too because clearly you guys know how to make a video game. True. So PlayStation has acquired them. Oh, yeah. Looking oh. forward to seeing what they come out with soon. Oh, well, not soon, but you know. Firewalk, which is currently developing an untitled AAA multiplayer game for PS5 and PC, will collaborate alongside PlayStation brands, including Bungie and Haven Interactive Studios, to create constantly updated live service games for PlayStation consumers. Hmm. There we go. Shit. Cool. Um, next up in the news, just a little bit of... They're tiny, they're toony, they're all a little loony. And in this cartoony, they're a they're little bit rebooty. What? They're a little bit rebooty. Ah, uh, I see what you did there. We're getting a reboot of the motherfucking Tiny Toons and Tiny Toons Lunarversity. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't watch the trailer just because I know I'm going to like it. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to just wait until it comes out to watch it, I think. I thought that's something I'm going to do. Um, Not a bad idea. Are they in like college? Is that what the, the gimmick is, though? I would no, assume they were in Tiny Toons Luniversity on the original. They were. Yes, that's what their school was. Oh, I didn't know what it was. Uh, well, Luniversity, and then like the thumbnail here makes it look like it's college football. It's in the theme fair. song. It looks like college football. They did. They also played football on the original. There was an episode where they were playing football. <laughs> okay, I'm wrong. Sorry. I don't remember everything what? when that came out. I was a baby. Yes, I got well. like, what was the, what were they called? Uh, and they show it again. Reruns. I got reruns. I didn't get every episode. I got the ones that did the best. At Acme Luniversity, we earned our tune degree. With teachers that's been getting laughs since 19. So, Come on. I'm just saying the theme song's not as good as uh, others. So. What does that got to do with the facts of the song? We're not talking about the quality of the song. We're talking about... Well, I just can't remember the song because the quality of it isn't up to par. This is a bad excuse. No. You can't pre... If you can't beat Freakazoid, then you're not a good theme song. They need to reboot that. They do. That was ahead of its time. Chimpanzee. (laughs) Unfortunately, you know who I can see voicing a live action freak is not unfortunately but a live action or yes. another cartoon live action freak is like jim carrey i guess he works too that's not who i was thinking <laughs> i mean that's clearly ryan reynolds right i mean like if we're if we're going like young yeah then that makes sense i'm just thinking jim carrey as like you know it makes sense because you know the if mask. live action freak is always came out in the 90s early yeah. 2000s it would definitely be Jim Carrey and now uh, it would be Ryan Reynolds yeah it could definitely be Ryan Reynolds but you know they would cast like Tom Holland or some bullshit and everyone I truly like, hope they would not do that <laughs> I don't want to see Tom Holland as Freakazoid that'd be good god damn such a good fucking Ryan Reynolds Freakazoid shit yeah. why haven't they done that get out of the fucking soccer business and be Freakazoid <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> I'm dropping my company to go be Freakazoid Honestly, like you don't need cricket wireless. Let's go. Um, <laughs> next up in the news, what do we got, Ed? Um, I'll tell you once I get back to that screen. Ah, uh, okay. you watched this, didn't you? I didn't watch oh, this at shit. all. No, I can't. Wait. I meant to watch this. I did. I not. thought you said you watched it. It was Fuck. on. It was on, but I didn't watch it. Like, I, I could I missed the beginning because I was doing something. I was like, all right, fuck it. I got a week. I never watched this. Oh, I forgot. I didn't. Damn. I wanted to know how well Lil Wayne covered Street Fighter. I'm about to find it real quick and just like skim through it. (laughs) Well, tune in next week for when Ant gives his full review of the Street Fighter 6 showcase hosted by Lil Wayne. Hold on. I'm where the fuck is Lil Wayne? (laughs) I'm only looking for him. Like there's a whole lot of dope looking gameplay here. But uh I'm liking the look of that game as like a genuine thing though. Um I really like the idea of like the street mode. Where you make your own fighter and you just walk around the streets kinda like an NBA 2K situation. 
um, and you can meet all of the fighters from the actual game, and then you can just fight citizens in the street as well, which yeah. looks fucking hilarious. Um, so that's cool. I gotta tell um, you, I'm skimming through this. I am not seeing or hearing much Lil Wayne. Oh, wait, here he is. How's he doing? How's our, how's our guy Lil Wayne doing? They're taking a while to get back. I had to go back some. I want to see how they introduce him. Because he's definitely not, from what I can see, rapping. Hold on. This is amazing. Audio he's clearly out. in front of a green screen, right? And they just got done showing, I guess, a fight or whatever. And he was like, yo, he was like, that looked crazy. Now let's head on over to the, I was like, Lorraine, if you don't grab a mic and shut up, go rap somewhere. I guess you can't rap if you're grabbing a mic and shutting up. Anyway, that's my review of the Street Fighter 6 showcase. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, next up in the news, some crazy fucking news from Nintendo. Um, a Nintendo Switch hacker now owes the company 14.5 million in damages, a sum which will likely be paying for the rest of his life. Um, Nintendo sucks, man. Like They're, they're just <laughs> assholes. Um, to say the least. Let me see if... Uh, I'm going to read out some of this stuff. All right. So his name is ironic as well. If you didn't know what his Mm -hmm. name was, it's Gary Bowser. So Bowser's Gary Bowser was a member of a hacking group that was convicted for the creation and sale of devices that allowed users to illegally play pirated versions of copyrighted games, also known as ROMs on various Nintendo systems. Most notably, the Nintendo Switch and 3DS. So, he sold ROMs, which, whatever. Cool. Right. Not technically a good thing to do, but also, like, if you're going to make your games impossible to play at a certain point in time, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, Nintendo. Uh, Bowser faced a sentence of 40 months in prison, a sentence that was viewed as a unique opportunity by Nintendo to send a message about their response to illegal activity. Since then, Bowser's sentence has been cut short and he was recently released and now awaits processing before re-entering society with an enormous debt, which will be 25 to 30% of his monthly wages until he reaches that 14.5 billion. So, Nintendo caught Bowser, locked him up, and now he's locked away and yeah, he owes Nintendo money forever. Pretty much, yeah. Um, it's Mario three, no, yeah, four, no, world, whatever. I was trying to relate this to Mario somehow because his name is Bowser. So the thing with like hackers and shit like this, like if it's games that are coming out, like day of and they're like here's a rom of it i'm not like super opposed to like him getting you know punished for it obviously it's not showing what games he did and didn't rom or whatever in my mind if i'm john nintendo Mm -hmm. i see this guy making a profit off of our games and he's doing it by hacking i'm like okay so how is he hacking these things how is he making roms how is he distributing them blah 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 in my mind i would see this as an opportunity to be like okay come work for us do the same thing you do except where we charge more money for these roms in a better way you know like figure it out in a better way mm-hmm. as like an option and me that's also just nintendo is a heartless cold company so that's where we're at so. i don't think he'd get this kind of treatment unless the games he was distributing were like first party switch games yeah so he had to have been like i'm sorry like if nintendo was going after him for fucking emulating punch out it's like all right like Mm -hmm. 
that game is like less than a megabyte. Like, you, what do you like? And it's over thirty years old. But it's their property. It is their property. So crazy. I would um, go into the Nintendo office. I'm like, I bet some of you have this game emulated somewhere in your home. That guy over there is playing Galaga. <laughs> That's not a Avengers. Nintendo game. I was in a- Oh Remember, shit! It was. Adventures. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. My bad. It's been a okay. while. Yeah. It's just somebody in the back of the room playing Mario Two on a Steam Deck. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's back there playing Mario Two. That guy has a Steam Deck in your building. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like, hey, we just really thought it was an OLED Switch. You're fired. <laughs> it's like worth it. <laughs> it's better anyway. I have all the ins and outs of this building now. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's yet another Nintendo thing that's happening in the news this week. So mm-hmm. next up, um, what is this you posted? Mine? I saw this late, but if you look and scroll through some of this video, it's crazy what this collab is going to be. <clears throat> uh. Uh, Minecraft Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. Yeah. Um. So what? Explain this. Did you put this in here? So from what I'm seeing, it looks like not necessarily a mod, but um, it's like a DLC to Minecraft itself, in which a ton of Dungeons and Dragons official lore and like beasts and armor pieces and items are all being added to Minecraft. And you can become a specific class, train your hero and shit. There's a bunch of armor and stuff you can get. And a lot of the models that they're using are really fucking cool. Like seeing Mm -hmm. displacer beasts in Minecraft is not something that I would ever expect to happen. But there's that. Uh, There's a gelatinous cube, which just fits really fucking well with, you know, the Minecraft of it. But... Like seeing like the different outfits you can choose and like all the extra stuff and it looks like there's a big story that's going on. Really fucking cool looking. It says it's coming in spring 2023. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, if you want to see the video, it's in our Discord in the gaming news. But uh, it looks fucking cool. That's that's all I saw. I was like, this was shown like weeks ago and I didn't see it. And I was like, oh, that's fucking dope. Right. And I'm gonna play Minecraft again, which is exciting for me because I played the shit out of Minecraft when I was younger. So there's word. that. Word, word, word. I didn't watch this next thing at all either. I didn't watch this teaser, but <clears throat> I saw the announcement. Right? You know, your... Season three. Yeah, an official teaser has been put out by Netflix. So get ready for more Witcher. It's still like Henry Cavill. Thing. In this season, right? And then he'll be changing into uh one of the Hemsworth brothers, right? Yeah, the last I heard, yeah. Volume one of season three comes out June 29th. Volume two comes out July twenty-seventh. I do find it funny that the uh first line that they put is this summer. Everything changes. Like, yeah, everything including your main actor. How many like, yeah, right? <laughs> How many movies trailers have started with this summer? Everything changes. This summer, everything changes. G Force, the gerbil spy agency. <laughs> Remember that? That was bad. Um, Very but yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, next up, Dragon Quest 3's HD 2D remake is just as exciting as Final Fantasy. Let me read the rest of the headline. 70s trilogy. Upcoming remake of Dragon Quest 3 is on the way that fans should be looking forward to. Um, it looks pretty cool from some of the uh, screenshots that they have here going on. Uh, along with the remake, several developers have been combing through their libraries and breathing new life into either much-loved or overlooked titles. So this is going to be coming back. I think that uh, Robbie was saying in the Discord that he was a big fan of this and also Lucia who posted it. So pretty it's fucking pretty cool. For people who aren't seeing it right now, it's they're giving Dragon Quest the Octopath Traveler treatment, and it looks really dope. It looks stylistically. Good. I've never played a Dragon Quest, but I've always been just like, oh, Dragon Ball Z, but not. 
<laughs> yeah, Kira Toriyama with the art. Yeah, it's just I, I don't know what it is. I never played it. I've always been interested. So it's a turn-based maybe RPG. I'll dabble. I could dabble in that a little bit. Maybe we'll oh, the the I just love how Square is just doing all these beautiful RPG remakes and Final Fantasy games now. Dragon Quest. Mm-hmm. Make our Mario RPG remake, you cowards. Please, please do that for me. Give me this style, this Octopath Traveler style, but it's Mario RPG remake. Please. I know you're listening, Nintendo. Make sure, sure they are. Right after yeah. we just diss them for suing a guy for billions. Yeah, well, they know they're stupid for that. Yeah, CLD. Where is the Legend of Dragoon? Remake that. That was a early request in the podcast back in the day. I yeah, believe. some some guy wanted that. That's, I I agree with him, but you know, somebody it's... that we used to know. <laughs> anyway, um, next up in the news, uh, Twisted Metal is getting its first trailer tomorrow. Um, we're getting a first look at it, according to Samoa Joe, who tweeted that out on Instagram. And I don't know why he tweeted it on Instagram, but he put it on Instagram. Um, he he but Instagrammed it. He Instagrammed it. Uh, in the poster, we got Anthony Mackie chilling up front in a car with machine guns, the Twisted Metal logo. And then you got Sweet Tooth in the background as well. Um, yeah. If you didn't know, Samoa Joe from formerly WWE, now AEW, is going to be, I think he's just voicing uh, the clown. To be fair, the I don't think he's the tooth. body. I, that was like I think the the main thing when he was in an interview about becoming a part of the project is that he's not like the body of Sweet Tooth. He's just the voice, which is fine. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the the character wears a mask 100 percent of the time, so that makes sense to do it. It's very much Darth Vader esque. Um, but yeah, who is Anthony Mackie playing? I can't remember the this car he's and what playing... the name of it was. He's he's playing Twisted Metal. The name's Metal. Twisted Metal. I don't know who he's playing. He's playing a guy who's driving a car in Twisted Metal. I didn't know if you recognized the car. No, how could I recognize? Look at it. Is it? It's a specific color. I'm pretty sure there was a car that was that color in the game. That car looks like so two basic. Like, muscle they put, cars. They just put machine guns on it. Yeah, I thought it would be cool if he was Axel. That makes sense. Like seeing him t posing for the whole just entire show, giant wheels, and it's just Anthony Maggie <laughs> just like being his cocky, sassy self. Like, hey, baby, want to t pose with me? These he giant fucking pose. wheels. Wasn't it Spectre? Is Spectre the? I thought Spectre was the motorcycle. So I remember I always used to play the motorcycle to piss Ryan off because the hitbox was smaller. Yeah, I do remember that. That was a good cheat to do. So uh, I'm looking for who he is. But yeah, um, I really want to play that game again. We should look into like getting that, and playing it. I feel like we, no, we don't have it. We can get that. We can make that happen. Yeah, it's like right down the street. We could go get it. Yeah, true. Fair. Yeah, next time we're actually in person. Um, but yeah, it looks cool from the the picture itself. I'm interested to see what it actually looks like because it's yeah. a Peacock original. Who is in this? Stephanie Beatrice, Thomas Hayden Church, Nev Campbell, Will Arnett, Samoa Joe, Anthony Mack. Joe. Joe. Thank you. Right. Um. Yeah, I'm very interested in this and seeing uh, what it is about very, very soon. That's all the news that we have on our Discord. No, we have anything else? Yeah, yeah, we got some more shit. Um, oh, yeah, there was the Final Fantasy 16 PlayStation, right? And oh, yeah. controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was just showing off today. I want the controller so fucking bad. It is a it's very so good design. so pretty. But um, I'm not getting it. I'm not buying it. Fuck that shit. Just get the controller. I don't think they sell it separately. They, they're stupid if they don't. You think I could probably find someone selling that at uh what's it called? Um 
too many games. The controller? Yeah. Because, I mean, it's like a video game convention, so they have a vendor booth area. You think some vendors might, you know, sell a controller by itself? I would. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. That might be what I might be looking into doing that, maybe. We'll see. (laughs) Uh, Armored Core 6 TE. What is that? Oh, speaking of that, did you see the new Armored Core trailer? No. From you know how to make from software's making the new one, right? I believe so. All right, we watched it and we're like, holy shit! Hold on, hold on. You have to. I don't remember it because I'm bad at remembering things. Hold on. Brain don't work too good in my old age. This is, it came out today, I think. Shit looks crazy. Here it is. Oh, hold on. You stay right there. I'm Where not is? going anywhere. <laughs> Here it is. All right. They want like four hundred fifty dollars. Oh Jesus! I put it in the uh, gaming news. Buyers of Rubicon. That's such an interesting name. Oh, I fucked up your camera. Shit, no. there we go. Click the uh, the wrong link. I'm just going to speedily quick click through it. This looks fucking fire. It, uh, I was, and I've never been like a huge Armor Core guy, but from software's making this, and it looks really good. So it's a Souls pretty. It's like a Souls like mech game. That's pretty interesting. I might have to buy that. I'm not even trying like to. The, the, the fluidity, like the game just looks dope to play. Oh, the collect. That's what you're talking about. The collector's edition. $450 for all of this. You get a figurine, art book, pins, uh, stickers. Honestly, I feel like if you give stickers with your collector's edition, it's not a collector's edition. <laughs> like, I, as of that point, I'm like, you should fucking do something better give me a mug give me a mug i just want a mug with like the game logo logo on it that's it at least it's something i can fucking use i want to drink the game all right like you know what i mean i just need something that is able to be used more than once and will get ruined if i take it off of the fucking sheet that it's on because once you take it off the sheet the collector's edition is shit because you took the stickers off the stickers ain't pristine no more Give me like a lanyard or a fucking, I don't care. Give me like a coin, a, a commemorative coin of the game. You know, something. Yeah. Because stickers are stupid unless you're buying them for the intention of being stickers. Because you can't buy these wherever you want. That's what, you know what I mean? Yeah. Once they're gone, they're gone. That sucks. I like stickers. Stickers are cool. Buy our stickers. Do it. I think that's all we got then. Is that one more or, huge, one which more? seems to be the headline of the week? <clears throat> the CMA has blocked Microsoft from purchasing Activision over concerns the deal would damage competition in the cloud gaming market, leading to less innovation and choice for UK gamers. I think I did see that on my phone. I completely forgot to my open it up. My entire Twitter timeline. This is all all the game outlets are talking about mm-hmm. it's how this this is this deal is potentially blocked now damn um reading forward um update microsoft has responded and confirmed they will try to appeal um somebody else tweeted in a major win for the market leader playstation the market leader playstation uk regulator cma gov cma gov uk on twitter has blocked the Xbox plus Activision Blizzard deal over cloud concerns. This means that cloud providers like NVIDIA won't get Call of Duty, which was Xbox's whole thing about trying to distribute that to everyone. Mm -hmm. Um, What else? I'm just reading some of the headlines. The CMA's report today is a major setback for the UK's ambitions to reach to be a tech hub, and we will work with Microsoft to reverse it on appeal. This report is also... Hold on, let me get the full thing. 
This report is also a disservice to UK citizens who face increasingly dire economic prospects, and we will need to reassess our growth strategy in the UK. Global innovators, large and small, will take note of that despite all its rhetoric. The UK is closed for business. So, with that being said, and they're trying to they're gonna try to appeal it, and they're hoping that like them blocking it is gonna set the actual people in the UK off <laughs> because they'll be like, okay, well, who, who actually want the deal to go through? And then if it doesn't go through, there's potential for the deal to still go through elsewhere but then uk mm -hmm. wouldn't get activision blizzard games like there's a potential for that like under microsoft as far as cloud gaming goes which would i feel like ultimately make them overturn it anyway because then people in the uk would pretty much put up a fucking fight yeah for sure yeah hmm. <laughs> i like robbie's comment it's like a race to become a monopoly is at this point pretty much um, um vice chair and lead. president of microsoft where was this part of the bear with me for a second ah tweeted we remain fully committed to our acquisition with activism activision blizzard and will appeal today's determination by the cma they, Microsoft writes a full statement. We remain fully committed to this acquisition and will appeal. The CMA's decision, decision rejects a pragmatic path to address competition concerns and discourages technology innovation and investment in the United Kingdom. We have already signed contracts to make Activision Blizzard's popular games available on 150 million more devices. And we remain committed to reinforcing these agreements through regulatory remedies through regulatory remedies we're especially disappointed that after lengthy deliberations this decision appears to reflect a flawed understanding of this market and the way the relevant cloud technology actually works so they're not going down without a fight pretty much shit um this has been like the biggest thing lately that i've been seeing <laughs> um obviously all the the fanboys are on there like oh fucking xbox not gonna and then and i'm reading it i'm just like i don't all but these people the, the uh the cma the mm -hmm. cma is blocking the whole thing everybody else pretty much was on board even the company getting acquired is on board that's crazy and I feel like PlayStation put up such a big stink about this that they finally found a like a governing organization that was like, hey, you know what? Yeah, let's block it. Yeah, Sony's right. Sony's <laughs> right, right, guys. But um Meanwhile, Sony's got a gun to the back of <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> but they say if this doesn't go through, Xbox, well, Microsoft will be forced to like repay like billions of dollars. Shit. Because of all the deals they already put forward. Huh? I'll take a couple billion if they want to give it away. Yeah, so, me too. You know, you know, just slide it away. I'll take a, I'll take a splash back off that money. You know what? I, I don't even need a billion. A million is fine. <laughs> just, just a million is fine if you want to slide that through. I know yeah, somebody billion, was like, here's $250,000. Like, I will take it. Thank if you. someone gives me $1,000, I'm fucking <laughs> sure, dude. I'm a cheap date. Fuck. I mean, <laughs> 1000 bucks ain't cheap to me, at least. No, no, no. It's not at all cheap. I'm talking about by comparison to Microsoft's uh, pockets. <laughs> yeah, true. Sony, you can pay me. If you'd like. If you want. I'll say that this deal is terrible. It's the worst thing that's ever happened before. Who wants to acquire stuff? Fucking Sony's right, guys. This is just you reading off a sheet of paper that has like the Sony logo on the back of it. Hundred <laughs> percent. This I'll deal do it. Is terrible. Please no. Microsoft Please. bad. Sony good. Microsoft poo poo. <laughs> Gerber baby poo poo ghost. Gerber baby poo. -poo. <laughs> oh my god I'm so fucking tired well I, I think that's all news. we got yeah. that's the news alright back to us being normal boys camp that's that's the podcast for this week guys we appreciate mm -hmm. you um I don't know what else to say what else do I say um, do I do the, the, the rundown of the socials and stuff Just oh, wait wait wait, wait, wait. we got a question 
Um, we did get a question. Frankie Fuck, a you're question right. In the chat. I have to scroll up for that. I got it. If you could design a game based off your favorite cartoon, how would it look? Mm. I mean, that's hard then because you got to go off favorite cartoon. What's your favorite cartoon? My favorite cartoon of all time is The Simpsons. Hmm. But they already did mad games of it. I don't know, like I don't know if I want another game other than like the arcade game for the Simpsons. That's probably the best they could do. And Simpsons hit and run with PS2. You know what I would fucking love as a game? What? And it's like a niche thing. Um, it's not even my favorite. It's like up there, but it's not my favorite. Codename Kids Next Door. That'd have been a good a, game. I fucking loved that show back in the day. And like it would be such a cool game if you were to make like i don't know how to explain it like you create your own you create yourself as a kid Mm -hmm. and you join the kids next door you are in the kids next door and you were literally making your way through all the tree houses and stuff and all the networks and the you're fighting all the bad guys like the toilet paper guy and shit yeah and fucking and like you meet up with characters from the show voiced by their original voice actors and shit but like you're just trying to like level up and choose your kind of kid. Like are you gonna be the tech guy? Or mm-hmm. are you gonna fucking do the what are they the rainbow monkeys? Uh, are you a a lover like pillow fight person like a beat oh, yeah. em up? And like, then, I, I've uh, seen Kid Next Door, but that's that's when I was kind of like aging out. Like I didn't like keep up with Kid Next Door. It was so good. It was so good. You should go back and watch it with Trent. My brother like, he would, used to watch he would it like that. We actually had yeah. it on before. I think we watched it before. Hell yeah. That's such a good show. It's also animated really well, too. But I would do like a kids next door game. That'd be fun. Um I said the Simpsons above. I'm trying to think of a modern cartoon. Give me not modern. No yeah. Give me a Amazing World of Gumball turn based RPG game. Kinda like um South Park. Yeah, ones. yeah, but like it, where it's a stick of truth or what? I don't know what the other one's called. The um, stick of truth and a fra- fractured butthole. Fractured butthole. I forgot about that. But yeah, I would. I would definitely do. Uh, I, I I would love that. That'd be fun. Give me that, that show is good. Give me a mo- Give me Darkwing Duck, but it's Meg. It's pretty much Mega Man X, but it's Darkwing Duck. Hell yeah. I mean, obviously, there's also the obvious answers. Obviously, Batman Beyond. Um, obviously, you said that. Obviously, a Static times. Shock. Mm-hmm. Like, um, or what else there be? Obviously, from back then, a Boondocks game would be cool. What style would it be in, though? Kind of like a GTA campaign, probably like that fun. type of game. But then the style of Boondocks. That'd be fun. In 3D, though, that'd be fucking sick. Give me a modern Castlevania game, third person action game in the style of the Netflix anime. But it's a Soulsborne. Oh, that'd be dope. If it's a Soul. Yeah. A Castlevania Soulsborne, I feel like, is something that should have been a thing already. Yeah, I just think Castlevania, it didn't do well when it went to, they tried to. Take it to 3D, so mm-hmm. then they just went right back to 2D. But I mean, I, that was do before right, they. Though. I think that's before they kind of perfected like the third person action game, like they have now. Yeah. So take today's tech and make one of those; it'd be fantastic. Hell yeah! Uh, Super Robot Monkey Hyper Force Go. I don't know that one. <laughs> I feel like I should because I feel like that's around my era, but I don't know. And then Shaolin Showdown, I think I know. Is that the one with like the the, the circle head kid that kind of looks like Krillin? I think. Mm-hmm. I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know what that is. That one I'm familiar with. I never watched it though. Oh, you know what would be fucking sick? Uh, my life as a teenage robot. Mm-hmm. That'd but be what fire. Style though. I don't know. Just seeing her in 3D be cool. Um, I want something that's just so left field. Like, give me a, I don't, give me a fucking King of the Hill kart racer. Some shit. 
Watch it, Bobby. Going for the gold. <laughs> As you get hit by a fucking uh, propane tank. Yeah, shoots a propane tank out. It's like, I'm about to bust. <laughs> what was I just thinking of? Fuck. I lost it, I think. Damn. I want Give me a SWAT Cats game in the style of Star Fox 64. That'd be fire. Give me a Dexter's Laboratory dating sim. <laughs> How does this? Who are they? Like, who's dating who? I don't know. Give me an Ed, Ed, and Eddie uh, bejeweled blitz, but all of the, uh, like, the jewels, they're gumballs and, like, jawbreakers. Yeah, that'd be funny. That'd be good. Tailspin also does work. Beavis and Butthead. I don't know if that'd be a good <clears throat> game. That'd be good, like, one of those ones where it's just talking and stuff. Uh, like a Telltale game of Beavis and Butthead. That'd be cool. Mm-hmm. Like you just make their decisions for them, and then you know, be cool, yeah. cinematic happens. Beavis and Butthead had games back in the day, but they were terrible. Mm-hmm. I remember my cousin got it, and I went over to his house and played it. And it was one of those moments where I was just like, "Man, I'm glad I didn't waste a gift on this. I'm glad I didn't <laughs> ask for this." <laughs> Hell yeah, Street Sharks Candy Crush. Hell yeah, there it is. Yes, yeah, so uh, rem- cats, everything. That'd be cool. They just came back with a biker rats from Mars mm-hmm. or biker mice, not yeah. rats. And there's like a new line of figures of them. They like re-release them in like better articulation. And are they shit. coming back like the show? I don't know. The toys I don't are I remember though. much about biker mice from Mars. Like I remember it, but I don't think I was like, watching. I've just seen the toys and that's it. I've like seen what they look like. And I'm like, that's a thing that happened. Mm-hmm. Maybe I guess. But yeah, that's all I got. Personally, no, they need to make a Scooby Doo horror game, but it's legit a horror game. But then I then like I would rated M Scooby Doo, Resident wow. Evil esque Scooby Doo game. That'd be interesting. It would soften the blow. You would be scared, but it's Scooby Doo. It. Like uh, the one games, uh, like what the fuck are they called? Uh, the ones that everyone loves, where like you make your choices. It's like the Telltale ones, but it's like with famous actors and shit. Um, days, not days gone. Shit, um, can't remember. There's there's one with like a Wendigo in it. One with like werewolves. Oh, um, Rami Malek was in one of them. I know exactly what you're talking about, but I can't think of the name. Yeah, <clears throat> is it Until Dawn trilogy? Oh, Until Dawn. Never mind. Like in that, that there's like that company, do that company, but Scooby Doo, because then you're making the choices for each of the gang members. You're choosing who splits up with who. You're choosing yeah. who fucks who, because that's it's rated M. You know, yeah. you know that whoever has uh, getting Velma and Scooby Doo linked up. Stoinks. <laughs> Stay away from the peanut butter jar, Scoob. Remember Monkey from? Yeah, I do remember Monkey from Dexter's Lab. Until dawn. Yeah, we were. Dial M for monkey. All right. Well, uh, as always, if you like the show, uh, follow us. Save letter be number four quitting over on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube. Diddy. Diddy. We're going to be posting more on TikTok coming soon. Uh, we're getting back into the groove of things. I kind of stopped for a while just because, like, making clips of us fucking me playing, uh, what's it called? Fortnite or Overwatch isn't fun. And then on the podcast, the clips that we make. Our bits are too long. We have long bits. Yeah. Podcast title. Long ladies. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, our bits are too long, so they don't fit in that format, sadly, without like hyper editing them. And that just takes way more time than I care to give when mm-hmm. it comes to editing a TikTok. So, but we'll be doing it. It's fine. We're going to get it done. We're going to do it soon. Uh, yeah. Patreon, patreon.com forward slash save a little bit number for quitting. Two extra podcasts a month. The most recent one, first of April, even though it is the end, we have to do another one really soon. Um, <laughs> it's pretty good. We, it, mm-hmm. It's a good one. It's coming, I think, probably Saturday. I'll have it out on. So I'll give the main podcast a day to breathe. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a good episode. We talk about some crazy stuff. We get into politics somehow. Somehow, but yeah. it 
it, it goes in a good direction, though. Yeah. It's one of those things where it's a very open conversation about stuff, and it, I don't think we're fence-sitting necessarily, but at the same time, you know, it, we're not saying the craziest things in the yeah. world, I don't think. You it's know, it's like, not a triggering episode yeah. by any means. But it's just, we it's also a great talk conversation about weird though. stuff. Yeah. Too. Um, I think that I teased it on the main podcast, but we talk about how beans are weird, and then we made a discovery, which you need to subscribe to see. Yes, discovery is. it is a discovery, uh, all right. It's something. It is, because I think it was the one thing that I was, like, right about. We were just like, shit. <laughs> this isn't yeah. technically wrong yeah, damn it. about my other high thoughts that we had. But, yeah, check that out. Um, I think that's it, right? I think that's it. That's it. All right. I don't know what else to say. Shit. Well, while you think of what to say, what they can do is to remember to save before quitting. quitting. And we'll see you guys next week. We will. Hell yeah. Same bat time, maybe. <laughs> who knows what time? Yeah, but there will be a knows? podcast. There will be. <laughs>